Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Magic Duels. So, we are going into battle mode, we are going to a versus battle, and we're going to play versus a matched opponent. And we'll see who we get this time. Last time we had a... What do we have? We had like a red... Goblin Arsonist, Perilous Mirror... Twin Bolt deck. I think those are the only three cards he ever cast. And we ended up just kind of rolling over him with Nisa and all our answers. And then we played the AI and just kind of threw the game to a good deck and keeping a bad hand, I think. Uh, we're waiting for players to join the match, which is a little disconcerting. Maybe their connection is not good. And I mean, I want to talk, my connection is terrible. You can already see the video, like, falling apart. Well, we're playing an AI because Keydam didn't show up to the game. And we don't even get the option to mulligan our hand. Which is a little upsetting because this hand is terrible. That's kind of bullshit that we didn't get to mulligan our hand. It got a little better, but it's still not good. Airbus is Titan is functionally a dead card. The Gate Cooper Vine is a dead card. The Reeve Souls are dead. The Frostlinks is two thirds, well, only two thirds alive. It's one third dead. And they're doing things. They've got a Bond of Construct coming in next turn with his Elvish Visionary. I mean, it's coming into a Perilous Mirror, which should shut it down. Ah, there we go. Getting Gate Cooper Vine instead. Gate Cooper Vine is we take two, but we guarantee hitting a black. Which seems like it's a worthwhile endeavor. So we're gonna go with that. Grab one of our blacks. And we'll end the turn. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to kill some seeding I've got going on. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Maybe I won't. Maybe it's just gonna not let me deal with that in the way I want to. Oh well. So make sure my phone is on silent so it doesn't interrupt. It does. Okay. They are coming at me. I'm gonna block the one one and take the two. They didn't make their third land drop. So they're playing a miscreant. What the hell is wrong with that? Okay. Well, something on my computer is acting weird. Um, we're gonna frost links the very miscreant, as terrible as that is. It's working now, it's just being really slow for some reason. And they're not attacking. Oh, but they will play another miscreant for the value. Maybe they can make their third land drop. Nope. Oh, yeah, they did. Don't harbor. There it is. Into a Timberland guide for a counter. Well, wow. gets better and better. All right, so so we make that land draw. So I don't see anything getting big enough for reprisal yet. And we're gonna leave something. So probably the two-two in the air. Minimize our damages here. And we're going to skip our attack set because we want to use the Frost Links to block here. Okay, Hinterland Harbors. They're only making all the land drops. Four cards in hand. We have four cards in hand, but we know one of ours is a land and we know none of theirs are land. At least none of theirs are likely to be land. We're going to trade the Perilous Meter for that robot. Uh, we're going to shoot the two damage on the miscreant so we stop taking air damage. And now we've turned combat off. Oh god, a whirling rogue. Shit, that's really good. Okay, they get a whirling rogue. We get to untap and could rise something from the grave. None of those seem worth it. That doesn't seem worth it. Instead, I think we re we leave soul on the whirling rogue. So they at least can't make things unblock. Are they making my frostings unblockable in a strange attempt to bait me into attacking for two? No. Although, I guess I should have because they're just going to punch for two in the air. But I guess I'd rather take two in the air instead of three total. 
for them taking two, because I gotta go long on with this. Suggesting Thief, which is, has prowess, which is kind of relevant, but so far they haven't played non-creature spells, so... Maybe the prowess doesn't do jack shit. Um, I want a ruler rogue. Tokens for me. Continue. Skip the attack to turn off the ground combat. Next turn we'll have wild size up. If we don't see a black source. If we see a black source, Titan. Boom. Done. If we don't see a black source, we have wild size up to get through for our damage, maybe? Like I'd rather use it as a combat trick to block, so we'll probably just use it as a cantrip regardless of what happens. I mean, server is a cool guy. He does cool things. Mostly letting me draw a card. Bonded Construct is okay, I guess. They've got a lot of things going on over there. Merc Lurker. Seems like a better option than leaving up Wild Size right now. And I think... I want to go in with something here. I feel like I want to go in with the Frost Links. and see where that goes. And give it lifelink basically, regardless of what they block with, but I just want to see what they'll block with. Yeah, okay. Give it lifelink, so they're, they're doing a smart one where they just use a visionary to trade with it. But we do gain two life back, which is kind of relevant. Next turn, we can do the same thing, but with Wild Size and the lifelink. If they come into us with Thopters, we trade Thopters. If they throw in Servitor at us, I think we just eat it with the Mark Lurkers. So yeah, they're not doing anything. So now we've got this cool turn where we can play Titan. Titan, 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 Titan. Which seems really good. So we're going to do that instead. And we're just going to pass the turn because I don't have lifelink up, so there's no point in making a bad attack when they have all the options. We're just going to wait. I'm sure Sun Tzu said something about he who strikes last strikes hardest. Look it up. Somebody get back to me on what Sun Tzu said about waiting for your opponent to make the first move. There's got to be something in the Art of War about that. But with a 5-5 and the Wild Size lifelink going on, we're in a pretty good spot defensively. And we actually have two lifelinks available. Assuming it doesn't use more than one black source. Yeah. So, I say we go to combat and we attack with both of these. Wait to see our, their blocks. Okay, so Merkwork is going to do two to the servitor, one there, three there. Okay, so we're going to wild size the Merkworker, and then we're going to Merklerk the Titan, and we're going to Merklerk the Merklerk. And they're going to grow something. Servitor? Yeah. So we're still losing the Merc Lurker. And we're not killing any of their things. Because I didn't have the reprisal man up. Which kind of sucks, but I mean, it happens. I wanted my lifelink. Maybe I got a little too greedy on the whole- Why did they not tap the Titan now? I guess they have enough to like, gank the Titan, but I can make the Titan unblockable. Oh no, because now they've tapped the- Oh, I see. They're doing what here? Go oh, gathering the pack, okay, so they're getting into another guy. Um... If I can't tap two artifacts, I can't make the Titan unblockable. And this is, what, six? I 
more than comfortable just taking damage for a bit here. I understand where they're like coming at me from. But this means now they can't. Oh, they can still trade with the Titan. Yeah. Okay. So we need a piece of removal here for the Frost Links or the Construct. We've got an Unholy Hunger, which works. We'll kill that. We'll gain two. It'll close the board up. And then now if we attack, they can't trade with the Titan. So the Titan is a safe swing. And then when we untap, they're on a three turn clock from us making it unblockable. Yeah, they're just gonna chump. And then they're gonna pass the turn. We're, we're gonna pass the turn to them. And yeah, we just we just have to tap two artifacts to the Whirler Rogue to make the Titan get through. We can just take any damage they throw at us basically forever. We should win the race. Oh, they're gonna frost links away the other token. Okay, so we're on a slower clock because they top decked another frost links, which was the one thing I was hoping they would not, but they did. And we cannot attack safely into that board, so we're just gonna pass the turn. They're gonna frost links again. This time the Titan. Which honestly seemed like a better play from the beginning. I mean, I guess this way I can make the Whirler Rogue unblockable, but that doesn't speed up the clock at all, so there's no point. Now we're starting to lose position here. We get Tragic Arrogance? Now we can get a Wild Size. Well, that's a thing. So let's Wild Size the Whirler Rogue. Oh, I couldn't even Wild Size the Fence on there, we're gonna tap to the artifacts. Did I just make the... God damn, I made the token unblockable. I never used a Whirler Rogue, don't get mad at me. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh well. That was a mistake. We might die very soon here, actually. Um, yeah. I'm gonna trade the Whirler Rogue for the Rune Servitor. We're gonna block something here because we should. Got a Necromantic Summons, which means another Whirler Rogue, which I think seems like a good idea. It's gonna get counters. Those. I use my red, I think, if I had any red at all. Um, we're gonna make Titan unblockable. We're gonna tap two artifacts for it. Continue. We're gonna. Oh, we're at two. I think we need to move the Titan back. In fact, I might have just thrown because I didn't realize we were at two and now I don't have blockers. Uh, yeah, we're, we lost. Shoot. That was a mistake and a half. We would have had enough blockers if I hadn't done that. But um, Yeah, I'm just going to fill it out with a solo battle. I guess we'll just lose to the computer again. Because shoot. Oh, that feels dumb. I just didn't look at the board. I knew I was starting to hemorrhage life pretty quickly there. I don't know why I didn't think to do anything about it, but I didn't. So nuts, that, that kind of sucked. Alright, let's play our blue Vidalcan Man opponent. What do I got? We got three lands. We don't have telling time. I mean, this hand could be worse. It could be much worse, so we'll keep it. Draw. Forest. Alright. I head back in the game. Last game's a mistake. Mostly they got lucky with frost links after frost links after frost links. Just keeping us down. Because I mean that was the three turns we needed to win there. So that sucked. I'm gonna read soul because otherwise that's just gonna do more than it's two. 
and it looks like they're blue red artifacts. So leaving an artifact on their board can't be good for me. And another turn. Tap. We can get our blue going on, which basically means we have to telling time. We might as well do it now. Uh, we can take the telling time, and we can take the perilous mirror, and we'll give up on the red. Because we have it already. We have more than enough green, so Rootbound Crag doesn't seem worth collecting over a perilous mirror. Draw our mirror. We'll play our wooden cemetery. We'll play our mirror. And we might as well telling time, too. Let's telling time now. We're gonna get the summons and the revival. We're gonna get the white. So I'd rather have the two five mana black spells that we have. The access to cast. We still can't cast on Holy Hunger, but we can cast the others, so. We're gonna play a P and Kiara Noir, which is really good. I'd like to kill it and revive it. Which might be what I do. I think that will be what I do here. Revival. Dead. My turn. I will Necromantic Summons it because I have four. And I'm fine with attacking here because I trade with their tokens. So it's free damage. My turn. Yeah, my turn on Necromantic Summons P and Kiara and Alar. We'll play the like. I've got your Thopters game again. And this time we'll do it right. got a shiny soul blade gin, which is pretty good. If I see a soul, I might just unholy hunter that. But it's perilous mirror, so instead we're gonna do the necromantic summons. P I think I'm gonna rise from the grave P and Kara Noir. And I'll see the necromantic summons for if I can kill the gin. Which I should be able to do if I untap with the wild size up. So Mir can go in safely because if they chump it, that kills the gym. And I mean, if I chump it, I mean destroy it, trample it, tear it to pieces. Because that's not chumping. Alright. What do I got next? Got a land, okay. Are you gonna attack with anything? I think we chump the genie for now, and then we wait. They're gonna tighten strength, okay. Genie doesn't trample, so they're just making a really big genie. But it's good to know that they use that before my combat trick. We have another friggin' air knowledge. Get some another friggin' Thopter. Is this the one that gives them haste? No, it just gives you a Thopter and it flies. Okay. So, I mean, we could sack a Perilous Mirror to deal with the Genie, and play another Perilous Mirror, which also seems good. So I think I'm going to do that. But I want to see if they'll block it first. So if they'll block it first, I can also wild size it. And honestly, I can attack with that too. Okay, so they're blocking with a 1-1. One, one. Uh, if I want to they don't have that for Pia Kinerla, actually, so I'm gonna sacrifice it. No, I want to sack. I want to deal 2 damage to the genie, sacking the token. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Perilous Mirror is also gonna deal 2 to the genie. Bang. Bang. They'll take 2. We'll play Perilous Mirror. So that's a really nice, it's one of the reasons I took the PNKR and the LAR. Because with Perilous Mirror, it's, they're, they're double shocks. For three, double shocks? Three mana stoke the flames, that you can divide, and then you can cut in half. A little better descriptor. Um, 
Which I think, I don't even care about the doctors that much. I think we'll just take the block here. Yeah, we'll take her too. Because we are down to seven, we need to do something here. They've got an exquisite firecraft, oh shit. Artificer's Epiphany. Alright, so they're tapping down for that. So I think we need to Unholy Hunger something soon. Maybe see Merc Lurker. Unholy Hunger is the thing we can do now. I think we're gonna Unholy Hunger... That one. Puts us back up to five. And I see the attack on our guys. And next turn, we can... Necromantic summon something. Soul Blade Jin, I figure. Ooh, Ember Mahalian. More red rares. Actually, blue red rares, but. This puts us down to three. And then they have a Titan Strength to win it. Ah, oh, no. What a terrible episode where we just lost to two computers, one of them and the guise of a human. Both of them playing artifacts. That sucks. Well, appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you liked the video, consider hitting the like button. You shouldn't like this video. It was terrible performance. Um, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of me losing the Thopters, I guess. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.